Welcome to another episode of Black Food American History, and today we're talking about catfish. Catfish dwell in shallow bodies of fresh water and are found on every continent with the exception of Antarctica, of course. They're often the preferred fish of choice because of their ease to catch, clean, and cook. But let's focus narrowly on catfish in the United States. The Mississippi Delta region is historically rich with catfish. The banks and the tributaries of the Mississippi River are perfect for catfish. This is a reoccurring theme, but enslaved Africans were allowed to catch catfish to eat. For slavers, it was beneficial to allow them to catch a nutrient-rich protein that was widely available. And it didn't take long for enslaved Africans to figure out this bottom-feeding fish. Using cooking techniques that they brought with them from Africa, they were easily able to make the adjustment. And like anything else that black people touch, it became popular. Soon enough, eating catfish was good enough to be in the big house. And even after the cotton industry would take a decline, farmers in the Mississippi Delta region would flood their fields and just raise catfish. And even today, it's not uncommon to see catfish on menus throughout the South or even participate in a few fish fries or buy a few fish plates. For Southerners who observe Lent, catfish is extremely important on those Fridays. Because you're not supposed to eat meat from warm-blooded animals on Fridays, catfish is a perfect, tasty, and protein-rich substitute. Catfish is widely available across the planet, but the tradition of catfish in the South is like no other. And this tradition would be impossible without, of course, black people. Like, follow, and share. And if you're rocking with my catfish po' boy, leave a fish emoji in the comments. Not gonna lie, this is the best catfish I've ever had. Peace, y'all.